guys welcome back to my channel how's it going i hope everybody is well today we are going to be reviewing a palette that i have had for a little while this was sent to me um by one of my subscribers um who wanted to remain anonymous it was a while ago now um and i've been meaning to get around to it and i just haven't and i'm just i need to do it now it's the elvira palette by lunatic cosmetics um which is just amazing you can buy this from beauty Bay. it's 23 pounds um, and when you open it up it just looks incredible so cool you've got a little mirror and then a pop-up spiderweb and candlestick and then you've got six pans you've got a blush in the middle and then the others are eyeshadows so we've got bone macabre uh, unpleasant dreams super unleaded Batitude and Aunt Morgana. Um, I will swatch these all quickly and then I'm going to prime my eyes and do something. I've got no idea what I'm going to do because um, it is quite a random palette but they're all such pretty colours. I'm sure I'll be able to do something. So yeah, I'm going to just swatch them. Have I got a wipe? No, it doesn't matter. Fine. So we've got Aunt Morgana which is a berry shimmer i'm just reading these off the beauty bay website so this is aunt morgana which is a berry shimmer really pretty color and then we've got batitude which is a sky blue matte really really bright that one super unleaded which is apricot pink that's the blush macabre which is a red shimmer. I think that one you're going to have to build the colour up on there. And then we've got Unpleasant Dreams, which is the matte black. And then finally we've got Bone, which is the white matte. So that is the palette really really pretty i definitely want to incorporate that blue because it is so bright and it's a color that i would generally stay away from so yeah i'm gonna prime my eyes and then we'll do something right my eyelids are primed um and to start off with i think i'm going to go i'm going to go into the blush color which is super unleaded i'm going to use this on my eyes as kind of like a transition color Okay, next up I'm gonna go into I think I'm gonna go into Aunt Morgana, which is the berry colour. This is a shimmer, but I haven't really got any other options for matte, so I just want to kind of deepen the crease a little bit. That is more pigmented than I anticipated from the swatch. It's a really pretty colour though. There isn't a lot of shimmer in it to be honest. Um, I'm just going to get a clean fluffy brush and just start to go over the top of the two colours. Now I think I am going to just get a smaller brush. Um, and I'm going to dip into the red which is Macabre. You see, that's much brighter than the swatch. I'm just bringing this right into the crease. I need a small brush, actually. Where's my little doodad? There he is. This is an e.l.f. eye crease brush, and it's a teeny weeny little crease brush. Right, I'm just going to go back into Super Unleaded on a big fluffy brush um, and just go over everything just to tie it all together. I really like um, Macabre the Red. That is so pretty. Really, really like that. Okay. Um, I want a flat brush. 
wanna fat brush. I'm holding up on the fat brush till the end of the night. Not you. Now I'm gonna go into the blue Batitude. Um, and I'm going across the lid. Oh my goodness. Wow, there's a lot of fallout. Wow. Oh my god. That is so pretty. Ignore all this. I'm going to obviously fix that. Now I'm going to go back into Macabre the Red. And just re-intensify this edge. Okay, um, I'm going to wipe off all this and put some makeup on. Um, I'm not sure if I've got any foundation that is going to match me because I've got a tan at the moment. Um, a little, only a little bit of one, but it's definitely a tan, so um, I'm not sure if it'll match. But we'll come back in a minute and we'll finish off and use the rest of the palette. And I'm going to use the blush as a blush, so see you in a minute. I've just had to use powder foundation because literally none of my foundations match me at the moment since my tan, since I'm tan basically. Um, so I'm now going to use the blush um, and I am going to really tap off the excess because this was a lot brighter than I expected it to be. It's quite pretty. Um, I'm not going to do liner, but I wanted to use the black, so I thought I would dip into the black and just run this really close to my lash line along the top. Just to kind of create a darkness without doing liner. Okay, for the lower lash line, I'm going to go back into um, Super Unleaded and Aunt Morgana and just smudge them underneath I'm going to super unlead it all the way to the inner corner and then I'll do Aunt Morgana just on the outer portion and then finally I'm going to go into the colour bone which is the white and I'm going to pop this on my inner corner it's a really nice white really nice white actually wasn't expecting because again the swatch these don't swatch very well but they're really nice when you actually use them on your eyes i'm just going to show that swatches aren't everything and i'm going to pop a little bit on my brow bone I really like that. I'm going to put some lashes on and we'll come back. Okay, I'm all done. I really, really love this palette. I honestly, when I swatched them, I was a bit like, I didn't really think a lot to them apart from the blue. But on the eyes, I really, really like them. I think they're lovely. Um, I've just put on some Tarte lashes um, and my lipstick is Bonnie XO Cosmetics and it is Burrow. Um, these are amazing. I've got all of them, the nudes. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. Um, and I do kind of want to say, when I do like videos like this, when I'm testing out a palette, this is not something, I don't wear this every day. Um, but I want to kind of use as many eyeshadows as possible and like show off the pigment as much as possible, which is why I do like the ridiculously dramatic sort of, this would be an out, 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 night out look um yeah because i've had a couple of comments of people saying this isn't something that i could wear in everyday life this isn't something that i'd wear in everyday life um that is not how i roll i roll in my pajamas and um i mean i've even got any trousers on today look i've just got some leggings on no no shorts or anything i've got full no it's not nice um so i'm just I look like I'm all dressed and I'm not, I'm not at all. Um, but yeah, I don't, this isn't 
like what I wear every day. I just want to show off the palette as best I can. Um, and that does involve kind of a more dramatic look to show off the colours. So yeah, I am planning some more natural makeup looks in the future. And I have just done my everyday kind of makeup, um, which I'll link somewhere up there. Um, so yeah, I think if you're an Elvira fan, um, this would be worth getting as a collector's item. And then if you're a makeup fan, I think it's worth getting because it's just so pretty. So yeah, if you like these kind of videos, please do give this one a thumbs up. You should definitely subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff to come. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.